This is material which was found on the body of one of those sadistic villains. It's Al-Qaeda material, official Al-Qaeda material. We're dealing with ISIS, Al-Qaeda, and Hamas. This is what we're dealing with. And in, those, in, and in this material, there were instructions how to produce chemical weapons. This is, it speaks about uh, 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 arson, and it speaks uh, uh, about uh, uh, various chemicals uh, that uh, come out and produce chemical weapons. Simple as that. in conjunction with My Israel uh, has arranged an uh, instruction day for wiki editors. The goal of the day is to teach people how to edit in Wikipedia, which is the number one source of information today in the world. As a way of example, if someone searches the Gaza flotilla, we want to be there. We want to be the guys who influence what is written there, how it's written, and to ensure that it's balanced and uh, Zionist in nature. I just want to ask you then about something else he said in his speech, which is about um, the collective punishment, as he put it, of the Palestinian people. And I want to talk about that in the context of the blockade and keeping fuel out of Gaza. I just wonder if you think that that is really necessary. You know, I'm, I'm very puzzled by the constant uh, concern which the world and, uh, and also Britain, I must say, Mark, is showing for the Palestinian people and is actually showing for these horrible, inhuman animals who have done the worst atrocities that this century has seen and the worst atrocities that Jews have suffered since the Holocaust. If the international media is objective, it serves Hamas. If it just shows both sides, it serves Hamas. אנחנו מטילים מצור מוחלט על העיר עזה. אין חשמל, אין מזון, אין מים, אין דלק. הכל סגור. אנחנו נלחמים בחיות אדם ואנחנו נוהגים בהתאם. From now on, my team and I will wear yellow stars. We will wear this star until you condemn the atrocities of Hamas. Ten years after the Gerush, the dangerous and dangerous from the Gerush Katif and Tzvon Hashemron, היום כשכל ילד במדינת ישראל יודע שהגירוש היה איוולת, שחוץ ממדינת חמאס בעזה וחצי מדינה תחת איום של טילים לא הביאה לנו שום דבר, צריך להתחיל לתקן, לא מספיק להודות בטעות. במאבק נחוש, עיקש, חסר פשרות, האויב, בלי להתבלבל, בלי לגמגם, כן, לדעת מי אויב ומי אוהב, איך מתייחסים לאויב, איך מכים אותו. What's the view on the humanitarian crisis in Gaza this morning? Uh, there is no humanitarian crisis because... There isn't? It, there is no. Uh, Israel is in charge of the safety of the Israelis. Hamas is in charge of the safety of the Palestinians. We've been showing pictures this morning that would illustrate that there is a humanitarian crisis in Gaza. Can I ask you something? Yeah. Are you a mother? Yes. And I think the importance of, um, of bringing this story up is also to fight a very, very strong and very popular Arab lie. And the Arab lie is the Nakba. Um, I think throughout history, I think this is maybe the most shameful moment where they choose to deny the, the right of the Jewish state to exist. Uh, they choose to fight. And then they, they, they made up a story that is called the Nakba. It was Hamas missiles which broke down the electricity infrastructure in Gaza. 
nothing to do with us. First of all, a lot of distorted information comes out of Gaza. Guys, it's very easy to blame Israel. Let's just remember where we were, what happened, and how do we have the right to defend ourselves 